Let's first set the record straight. Okay. There are, this race is not a race for mayor of Hartford. This race is to see who from the Democratic Party will become the party's nominee. The current mayor has been endorsed. There are 6,000 members of the party who think that that was a bad idea. They signed petitions fielded by these two gentlemen and many other people. Between the two of them, they got 6,000 votes of no confidence. I am not running to be the head of the Democratic Party here in Hartford. They are. I'm a Democrat. I was cross-endorsed by the Republicans because they see something in terms of leadership that they liked. In 2011, Pedro Sagara was cross-endorsed by the Republicans because given the opportunity to move an agenda forward, they felt that he would do a better idea or do a better job than I would have done in 2011 when I ran against Pedro. So, you all have to decide who will represent the party next Tuesday so that that person can run against me. And me. I am not a petitioning candidate. I am not a Republican. I am a Democrat who's been cross-endorsed because I have the capacity to work with all people in Hartford. Black, white, Jewish, Muslim, gay, straight, Christian, doesn't matter. You're a constituent, a constituent. I'm a black male. That might catch some of you by surprise. There's about 17 protected classes in this state, all right? Last I heard, black males were at the top of that list of protected classes. I don't want to be treated like a black male when I go downtown. I want to be treated like a constituent because that's what matters. And I've spent 37 years listening to constituents all over the city, from CEOs at MDC to places that I can't even tell you because of confidentiality, to just average folks. And across the board, their biggest lament is that no one listens to them like they don't matter. You vote for a city council, then they throw you to the side. You come and you sit and you sit for hours and you come up with a plan for uh, Weaver High School and then you're dismissed. At what point does the constituent matter? The constituent matters when you vote for a mayor who will put you first. I've done it for 37 years. You're likely to do what you've done, okay? I have become the unofficial confidant for at least one quarter of you in this room, if not half, okay? And around the city. So you can trust me to take your issue and fight for you like you matter. When you come to the mayor's office, I'm not gonna treat you like anything less than what you are, an owner. This is not the Republicans' government. It is not the Democrats' government. It's not the Working Family Party's government. It's not the Green Party family's government. It's your government, which is why I say, and you already know what it is, leave the plantation of party politics and free your political mind. I will say this about the Republicans, at least they're willing to leave the party plantation. Now, will you do the same? Independent thinkers are Puerto Rican, Mexican, Peruvian, Indian, Bosnian, Italian, Irish, Jamaican, African American, European, straight, gay, Nigerian, transgender, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, short, tall, skinny, rich, poor, happy, sad. Some of us hold a PhD 
and others a GED. And though we may be Democrats, Republicans, or members of the Working Families Party, we all have escaped the plantation of party politics and become independent thinkers because we as individuals are more than a party. You see, independent thinkers come from all walks of life. And the one thing we all have in common is that we love, live, laugh and learn in the city of Hartford. We are the constituents and the government of Hartford belongs to us. My name is Jay Stan McCauley. I'm an independent thinker and I approve this message because it's time to stop towing the party line and vote for a candidate you can trust. I'm asking you for your vote November the 5th, 2019 in the general election for mayor of the city of Hartford. For more information, visit MacaulayForMayor.com. You too can escape the plantation of party politics if you have the courage to free your political mind.